Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you're having an amazing start to your week. We're gonna go through our beauty buzz recap. We've got stuff to talk about. We've got some trends that I feel like it is finally time and I'm so happy about. There may or may not be some drama, but I have questions about that. I want you guys' opinion on that. So we've got a lot to dive on into. I'm really excited for yet another Beauty Buzz recap episode and I'm happy you guys have received this so well. You never know, this might be a turning point for our channel with this little podcast style type of video. Let's talk about the background super quickly since we're doing a quick recap. Last week's videos all featured a different background. Yesterday's video was pre-filmed, therefore we have a different background today. That XOXO sign that's cornered, it's at an angle, Juan did that. He was like, why is it like not cornered? I think it looks amazing amazing that way and it gives some light in that area this here I'm obsessed with I don't know why I didn't think of that before this here is kind of like law let me know what you guys think I feel like maybe I should do another light and make it orange or yellow or even red something cute and then I put the desk back over here one fixed the rod for me so at this point like the height is no longer an issue we elevated it even more because there's a plug down there and I'm like so paranoid about fires 2018 my mom went through a house fire so when my plugs are covered I freak out I was like I don't know I'm thinking final destination but anyway so I had him elevated even more and now there's no possible fire hazard in my brain and now I can open the curtain completely wide the problem with that is do you see the light that's coming in through that it is so bright and then it gets so hot in here so I did a semi and I'm digging it but I am wondering whether or not I should add a light low, like over here I'm debating and I might actually do it but anyway let's start off with our video recap I did a first impressions on the luminous air spray foundation it was a hot mess express but it turned out well I really like the formula. If you missed the last Beauty Buzz recap, we talked about Michaela and how she's always in everyone's like thoughts and everyone's jumping on a bandwagon. We talked about an Armani liquid eyeshadow, which I found a really good alternative, cheaper and you get more product. So you might want to check that out because I tried the actual alternative on the eyes and there was way more valuable information in that video. The ice cream beauty review for the month of March is live. It is a two in one video. So you're going to get the bag and the box unboxing you get to see them like in comparison I tell you which one I like the most and all of that you've really been wanting to see a Timu beauty haul I haven't done one in quite a while so I went ahead and did one of those we've got some dupes we've got some new skincare tools or devices not tools tools yeah well I got tools too and we're gonna follow up with a full-on try-on of the products but I'm really curious about one of the dupe palettes that you guys are really really wanting to see so get ready because I will be filming that really really soon. I shared a first impressions of PR product that I've received as well as product that I purchased myself. That video was so much fun. Then again I'm always having fun hello but that video that look and then the Ofra mystery box. This is a limited edition premium mystery box. I revealed it as soon as that baby went live. It is limited edition and they have limited quantities. You can use a promo code on top of the discount and the value that you're getting in that box is freaking insane, okay? So you might want to go check that out. All of these videos are going to be linked in the description box. So if you haven't seen them, all you really need to do is visit the description box and click on the videos, click on them all, binge, why not, and enjoy them. Now I want to talk drama really quickly with you guys because I feel like I don't feel like it's what it is. The drama is always surrounding Glamzilla and Michaela. I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. I feel like people are over scrutinizing everything. Yes, yes, there are things that they do that it's almost like you can't ignore it. There are certain times that they say things or their actions are kind of very questionable, but at the end of the day, we are human and they're gonna make their mistakes. I am not excusing any any of the things that are just blatantly wrong and i'm not defending them but what i am saying is i think we're at a place where there are so many content creators out there in the world i.e i'm one of them that you can choose from so if you no longer want to see michaela and you no longer want to see glamzilla find someone else that fulfills what you want that you feel like you can trust and i i'm, I'm talking to everybody at this point because i feel like Every time there's something to say, it's so negative and I don't like it, you know? Like I have an opinion, of course, and I'm more than 
than happy to share the opinion on big things, but on little things that are just like, I think people are just really being petty. I don't know. So I kind of don't want to talk about Michaela or Glamzilla in terms of drama, unless it's something for reals, for reals, right? And then TikTok. What do you guys think about TikTok being banned? I think it's a little crazy, but I also feel like in the past, maybe two years, that's kind of been the threat on and off and then nothing happens. So what do you think? I mean, I think at some point it's going to eventually happen, even if it's state by state. Look, Ron DeSantis, the governor here in Florida, is not playing. Apparently, as of 2025 or something, I don't even know the date completely, but supposedly, supuestamente, here in Florida, underage, I think it's 14 and under. Nina, youths are not gonna be allowed to have social media, like at all. Truth be told, though, I don't know how they're gonna get away with that. Cause social media is online, it's an online thing. A 10 year old can download any app, put a fake birthday and open up an account. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't, people do it all the time. They're already doing it. So how are they going to control that? Yo no sé. I find it slightly unrealistic, but we'll see. But do I think TikTok is gonna be banned? I don't think so. Trending. Dewy, healthy, glowy skin is what is trending in 2024. This is the newness for 2024. And I know certain brands have already released product that will contribute towards dewy, healthy looking skin while having makeup on. But they're taking it somewhere else this year. Like this year is where it's at. Do you guys remember in 2016 what the makeup was like? It was literally full face, strong brows, lashes that will make you fly. Like they look like butterfly. The eyeshadow was where it's, it, it, everything was so dramatic. Like everyone was walking out of their house to go to work, to go to the supermarket, to go to the bus stop, wherever they were going. And their makeup looked like they were going to like a red carpet, a fashion show, like it was just ah, drama. But now we're at a place where I think, I'm gonna tell you what I think. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think because that's what we're here for, right? Like my opinion and your opinion. And I want you guys to tell me if you agree or you disagree. I think during the pandemic, people learned to be okay with not wearing makeup, not trying new makeup, and if anything, focus on their skincare. Pero, you know who it did hurt? The makeup industry. Because people weren't spending money like that anymore. They no longer had that makeup addiction because it's kind of like we were weaned off of it. I believe that makeup brands took a big hit. Really big hit. So much that a lot of brands went out of business. So many things went on sale because they weren't selling, so they have to get it off the shelves. And way more. So my thought process behind this is, what can makeup companies do to put a spin on the shift that happened after the pandemic? What are they able to do to meet people's skincare needs plus sell makeup and they're smart. They started combining skincare and makeup. It's genius, right? Skin loving ingredients and makeup blended together, evolution, and that's where we're at 2024. Now I know L'Oreal released their serum foundation last year. I don't mark my words, they may, they may have been the first brand to merge skincare and makeup like this for the masses. Pero everyone's jumping on the bandwagon. Serum foundations, skin tints, and radiance boosters, it's where it's at. No one wants that heavy face anymore. No one wants the makeup to look like a mask. That's very 2016, 2017. We want to look like it's our skin, but better. We want to look glowy and healthy and pretty and smooth for lawless. Almost like we woke up like this. And so we have brands like ABH, which I'll get into in a second, but ABH, super goop. Naked Sundays, which apparently is over at Target and I've seen their price points, I've seen their stuff and they have a few products that I was like, oh, maybe I should do a little trip to Target and try the brand out. If you've tried Naked Sundays, please let me know. What do you guys think? Is it any good? Should I give her a try? Urban Decay, Juvia's Place, girl. Even Dior has jumped in the bandwagon. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm actually pretty happy about it. All right, I wanna share my product recommendations. This is gonna be a brand that I've tried one or two things in the past, but most recently I've been trying way more. And there are two items so far that I am completely obsessed with. The Palladio CC creams. These are full coverage. They're color correcting and provide skincare benefits. I'm telling you, everything is skincare, it's amazing. This is what they look like. 
That's what I have on my face and I'm obsessed. I don't have any highlighter on. I feel like it's unnecessary. I went in with one of the Palladio blushes. I've been talking about them for a little bit at this point. This CC cream is $10. This is literally similar to the IT CC cream, except it's only $10. It comes with a pump, so it's very, very similar. It just doesn't have that much radiance and it looks amazing on the skin. So for 10 bucks, I highly recommend you guys give these babies a try. I am, hold on, I organized this room, I'm so excited. I am in the shade Tan 40 W. And then these blushes, they sent me their entire collection. I think it was like six or seven blushes, but these are the ones that I'm gravitating towards the most. These are freaking stunning. I love this orange one, like the coral. And these are affordable too, you guys, like for real. Let me show you some PR stuff. Now I only have a two because all the other stuff I opened and I started creating shorts with. The first one is going to be from our friends over at Pixie because they're always sending amazing PR all the time. And here we have some skincare. So we have an under eye brightener, a sheet mask, and a makeup mask. This one contains caffeine. This one contains caffeine, which is gonna be amazing to plump up the skin, especially the under eye area. And then this one here has a uh, citrus extract and licorice root. That's gonna be beautiful for your skin, help with the smoothening, the plumpness, the your tightening of your pores. And then I got this and I was like, gay, what? and I love L'Oreal, you guys know that. This is actually one of the shampoos that I bought for my household. This is freaking bananas. So they sent me their hydrating shampoo, conditioner. This is their uh, like the replumping serum. The I'm trying to stay in frame and still show you. You guys, this is a staple in my house and I have replenished this probably four times. This is amazing on Cam's hair and Ty's hair. So that's wonderful. They sent over a scalp scrub. Oh geez, Louise, I'm trying. Ugh. That's my leg, okay. They uh, scalp scrubber, which I'll show you in a second. They sent a purifying shampoo and a conditioner, which are the two all the way back here. Now this is new to me, I haven't tried this before. Here is an oil erasing scalp serum, that's new. And I love these scrubbers. This feels amazing on the head, like it really, really does. It massages while you're in the shower. I like to do it with the shampoo to lift any dirt, debris, oils, dead skin, everything. And it just feels amazing. And this here is gonna be new for me to try, so this is what I'm gonna try first. This is for oily roots and dehydrated length. There's definitely a shift in my scalp and I've had to make changes. So I'm really excited to try that new L'Oreal system. New in beauty, Floresis, which we featured here on the channel several times in the past has released their Nomadic Glam collection. The artistry behind their print, their packaging, their thought process is absolutely stunning. I love the quality, their color stories. We've tried their eyeshadow palettes here, their blushes, their powders, it's really nice. The new Dior Forever Glow Star Filter is available now. Liquid Hydrating Concentrate, Complexion Enhancing Fluid, Multi-use. This complexion enhancer visibly brightens, smooths, and blurs the skin for a complexion that's more radiant than ever. So it has a little bit of tint, more radiance, and smoothing benefits. It's available in 10 shades, which means that the shades are gonna be very forgiving and it's $55. But the thing is that we need to spend $55 on that. Technically, no, because we've mentioned this before, Juvia's Place released something fairly, fairly similar, and it is their, um, the Magic Radiance boosters, they go for $25. Now they have 11 shades, so yes, it's a limited range, but again, these are supposed to be forgiving. So for something super similar to Dior, and it's literally like half price, I would go with Juvia's Place. Naked Sundays, I told you guys it's available at Target. This is what I was talking about. So Target is carrying a few of their items. I don't know how extensive the line is. However, I scrolled all the way down here and I found that they have a bestseller called Cabana Glow. I've never heard of this brand before, or maybe I have, I completely forgot about it. Not the point. Their Mineral Glow Serum Drops. It's makeup that meets skincare. It contains SPF also, which is bananas. It's a serum, a skin tint, drops, SPF, all in one. You see what people are doing? They're, they're, they've gotten smart. It's available in three shades, just three shades, and this is going to be $35. So I think all three shades are going to be for everyone. Eh, I don't know how much pigment it has. I would have to try it and let you know. I feel like it should have been four shades because they have one for fair, one for like medium, one for tan, um, or like medium tan-ish. 
feel like they needed to release one more that was like a deeper shade. That's just my opinion um, based on swatches. Later this week, ABH is releasing their very own version of like a skin tint. It is a serum boosted skin tint. Oh my God. Like, I think this is nice. I think it's different. Everyone has a skin tint, but in liquid form. ABH is releasing theirs in stick form, which I think is amazing. It says your undercover makeup with eight skincare loving ingredients for a natural finish and serious care. I don't have a price point right now. They haven't actually shared that quite yet. All right, guys, let's go through our subscriber comments. Sad White Wolf says, please update us on how that lippy looks later on. I am in the eternal search for a good lip color that will last all day. Let me tell you friends, I am tough on lip color. Girl, I feel you. We're talking about the Shine Loud by NYX Cosmetics. This is going to be the Rebel and Red shade. I tried it in a video last week. So here's the thing, did I love it? Yes, I did. Was it long wear? Absolutely. The only thing I'm going to tell you is do not go back in and layer the gloss. I went in maybe two more times with the gloss because I really liked the shine. There was nothing like being able to walk around and have like a full on bold red lip and be able to smile and it's not on my teeth, it's not transferring. It was wonderful with just that one application of gloss. Eventually the gloss fades. I already told you guys that. It still looks pretty, it was still very comfortable, but your girl applied more gloss and revived the look. That's great, but the additional gloss slowly started breaking that formula up. I started seeing a little bit of transfer, just a very little bit. Eventually, because this is really long wear, eventually, same thing happened. The gloss kind of wore off after I ate and drank and stuff. So I was like, okay, let me apply a little more. And I applied more and at that point we transferred, girl, and we transferred good. For me, personally, it worked and it was very long wear as long as I did not apply more than one layer of the gloss. MMFP6HL says, hi, I want to buy this. I live in Australia. It doesn't ship to my address. I wanted to get this mystery box as this looks amazingly beautiful. The products are so nice. Yes, yes, she's talking about the Ofra mystery box. They currently do not ship to Australia, but there's like a, I think it's like a drop ship something. I'm gonna tell you this. If you live in Australia or you live somewhere where Ofra cannot ship, you can still access their products and or boxes. You just have to go through a different, I don't know if it's a distributor or a shipper, but I would say reach out to Ofra over at their Instagram, send them a DM and let them know, I really wanna get it, I live in Australia. What is the route that I need to take in order to get it? And they will provide you with like the resource. There's definitely a way to do it. You just can't get it directly from Ofra. Just re reach out to them via their customer service or DM over on Instagram, they'll help you out. And then we have Tracy North who says, amazing mystery box. Yes, Mija, and I cannot wait to play around with the product. You'll see that video in this week, some point, some point this week. Someone had left a comment um, saying, the palette is actually $99, not $149, so technically you're paying for the palette and then you're getting everything else. No, not necessarily. So when you go onto the Ofra website, you put their uh, Pro Palette. This is their volume two. It goes for $149 and the value is freaking insane. It is limited edition. You can use my discount code JARDIG to save some money so you get in 20% off. So many of you guys have actually snagged your mystery boxes and use my discount code. So I appreciate you using my discount code because it is a referral code and I get some kickback for you having used it. Now we're gonna go through our channel members and we're gonna do shout outs. I'm gonna have to find a way to shout you guys out in the future because <laughs> the list is getting long, girl. So we have Jamie, Elise, Jolanda, Miss Hardy Girl, Amy, Mitch, Julie, Kim, Lipstick Queen, Sunshine, Dawn, Lita, Natasha, Beth, Cindy, Caroline, Andrea, Miss Kiki, Sharon, Mom2, Kit Kat, Miss Conduct, Jessica, Jeanette, Lady, Tracy, Katie, Chrissy, Cynthia, Lisa, Becky, Crystal, Crystal Lynn, Sandy, Hillary, Christina, Jeanette, Jen, Jersey Girl, Jessica, Michelle, April, Tanya, it's just Jessa. 
Teresa, Heather, Patricia, Northern Beauty Gal, Lisa, Pamela, and Darlene. So if you're ever interested in joining channel memberships, all you have to do is hit the join button below. This was a long one, but I really hope you have enjoyed this one too. Now YouTube is gonna go ahead and recommend your next video based on your watch history. While I'll recommend additional beauty content I really think you're gonna enjoy, so I hope you consider checking it out. And I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.